We meet again, oh wondrous satellite. This time, you've got a hard drive. And I plugged in the battery. That's right. I got a brand new hard drive for this thing, and why is it that every time I'm trying to shoot a video, my goddamn phone rings? Okay, so, like I was saying, I got this thing a hard drive. Finally, I paid about 80 bucks for that thing. Well, not the full 80 bucks, because I had a gift card. Hee <laughs> hee. And I rebuilt it using the, um, well, maybe more or less original. It's not perfectly original, and I'll tell you why. This is a 64-bit machine. Actually, we'll power it up first. This is a 64-bit machine. It's an L300D040. That is for the L300 040. The L300, from what it appears to be, is a 32-bit machine. So this is only running a 32-bit version of Windows. And I didn't realize that until I restored it and actually took a look at the system preferences. Now I will have to wait for it to start up here. And I'll uh, go over this machine for those of you who don't know the specs. It has a uh, 2 gigahertz AMD Athlon X2 dual core QL62, I believe? It's a 64-bit processor. 2 gigabytes of memory. It's now got a 320 gigabyte Seagate momentous hard drive SATA. And as you can see, it's got Windows Vista built from the uh, original disk. And, uh, hold on a second. Okay, it was only a false alarm. Um, so, I'll just wait for it to, uh, start up here. It should start up in a second. It seems to be taking a while. Oh, yeah, I think I know why. It's because I just installed updates. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. So, um, yeah. As you can see here, it is a QL62. And it's got 2 gigabytes of RAM. So, um... See, it's only got Service Pack 1 on it. Should really update that. Chiba Notebook 3.6. 2 gigahertz, 2 gigabytes of RAM. See, it's running a 32-bit OS. That actually is sort of unfortunate. Uh, let's see if we have any unknown drivers. Let's see if we have any unknown devices. Hmm. Doesn't appear to have any. doesn't have any. So, it knows all the drive. I have drivers installed for everything. I've got my antivirus installed. I don't feel like digging up my copy of Casper Sky and installing it on this computer. Because I'm way... I don't feel like waiting for that. Um, other than that, there's not much on this machine. It's quite boring. And it seems to not be recognizing my whole disk. Now, I'm, I suppose there's a reason for that, but I'm going to figure out why. Oh. So, I have to go into the control panel and uh, find it. Mobile PC, additional options, system and maintenance. Backup and restore, system, update.
Yeah. So there you go. It's got these drives for um various different reasons. I don't know what for. But uh, anyways, I do have Firefox installed, Firefox 4, and I have to say, I'm not liking it. And the reason why is because they've gone to, similar to what Opera has been doing, they've gone to the mobile menus. Now, the reason why there are menus on a desktop system is because it's a desktop system and you've got more space. I'm not sure if there's a way to change that using here. Because there probably is, and I'm just... Menu bar. There we go. That was a very easy fix. But, uh, yeah, so... That's it for that. We've got various... Very... Various... <laughs> various Toshiba programs. Recovery Disk Creator. The User Guide. You Lead DVD Movie Factory, whatever. DVD player, the Toshiba Assist. And then you got, ooh, I've got updates. So, uh, I'll install those and I will upload this video to YouTube and you will watch it. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really have to show you anything else but this system. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Until then.